Now Recording. Hello and welcome to Now Recording. I'm Mitch. That's Matt. Toxic. And uh, Core is here as well. Yeah, go fuck yourself, Mitch. Hi. What's up, guys? You guys know oh. about Pie Girl? We're not monetized anymore because of Core, but um, Pie Girl, yeah. I'm well, aware. let's censor it. Go Make it go beep, 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 beep. You're so, autistic. <laughs> So Pie Girl, right? Pie Girl's a trans YouTuber who was very edgy back in the day called Dream the N-Word. And they got into a lot of trouble. Wait, they use the N-Word? Yeah, they use the N-Word quite so a bit. So they're racist? Do you not remember what they did? No. They put on blackface and a like a shirt with a swastika on it. And they want me to respect their pronouns? Good heavens. My oh, goodness. Okay, oh, okay. God. Ugh. A, I'm disgusted. A Cheeto, a Cheeto logic. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so uh, they had got in trouble. I want to say almost. Listen, Matt, to if if Hitler came out as trans, would you respect his pronouns? Oh my yes. god! <laughs> I'd be like, yeah, she, that's, that's not going to get us to monetize. <laughs> she hates. She does not like Jewish people at all. I'd be like, that's what I'd be like. I that think she woman, also didn't like homosexuals, so it must have been yeah. quite confusing for and, her transition. Okay. She also didn't like black people, <laughs> but she said they were great in the Olympics and that they could have used some. So what, what's, I mean, that's true. What's, what's pie person's nationality, ethnicity, whatever you want to call it? They are Australian. Please say it's Austrian. Oh, close. <laughs> Australian, who uh, I think she's... Uh, she's got she's got some tan, like a, like so, uh, a pigment to her. Uh, I think it might be like Aborigine, maybe. I don't know. Is that a, is that common, Mitch? Um, I'll have to have a look at her picture, and um, I'll investigate further. Yeah, I'll do a just... full Aboriginal analysis. Yeah, you'll look at every inch if you know what I'm saying. Oh boy. Yeah. <laughs> um. <laughs> Jesus Christ, yeah, cool. sure. so it's not going to go great. <laughs> here, I'll I'll send you. Uh, so she's a trans Aboriginal. Has this happened before? So this could be uh, a world first. I'm gonna send you a picture of her when she was a. Uh, I guess this is before she transitioned. I Wait, don't know. Matt, if... You have pictures of like pie things. No, saved I went your... to the. Do you have a whole pie photo? thing? <laughs> I went to the YouTube. I, I went to uh, YouTube and I searched up Pie Man. Oh, so uh, now you're just dead naming him. Yes. No. <laughs> All right, See, Mitchell. Cora. I had to say pie thing because I don't know if he's looking up old pictures or new pictures. That's why you say pie person. See, it's way pie, pie they. <laughs> All right, I put the picture in the group chat. Why would you do that? I don't want to see oh, that. I don't know well, about want... pie girl, but pie man there looks like Indian more than Aboriginal. Indian? Okay. So... Welcome to Now Recording, where we analyze your race and tell you <laughs> what you are, despite what you tell us. So so back in the day, uh, almost a year ago, pie girl uh, got in trouble because... I, I'm not. I'm going to get this wrong. I did not do my research for this situation because I don't want to do the research for this situation because it involves a lot of uh, degenerate, illegal stuff. But the uh, they were basically trading picks with minors. They are a minor. But they I were trading you were say, like, with smoking minors. weed or something. Jesus, no, Christ. no. They were trading nudes with minors, and uh, they were associated with someone who was collecting pictures of minors. And yeah, it turned into. This, they put out the Google Doc trying to expose this person, and then the, and, re, and then it got they basically exposed themselves for having pictures, and so they got like quote unquote canceled, and they left the internet, and they came <sighs> back, and they left, and they came back, and they left, and came back, and now they come back again, and they have an issue with Blair Tele Blair TV Blair TV Blair a, Television yeah well <laughs> Blair TV stands for Blair Television, but uh Blair TV is like I think she's also trans. And she is a small commentary channel who has a really weird voice. And that's about all I really know about her. But right, uh, trans people, huh? You know yeah. what? Floptina is right. We don't do our research. No, Clearly. not on this one. Floptina, <laughs> you're dead on on this because I don't want to do the research. I got the Google Docs. I'm going to read the Google Docs. That's really all. Like, I don't care about Blair TV. Ooh, Blair TV has a weird voice and blah, blah, blah. Like, I don't give a shit. But I do have the Google Docs. That uh, Pie Man, Pie Girl wrote on Blair TV, uh, and this is what you know, kind of like. Hold on, wait, before we before we get to that, right? Why can't yeah. they just be like every other teenager and send their nudes through Snapchat? Okay, hmm. I don't know. I have we're no not, idea. We're, we're not going to pretend like teenagers don't send nudes all the time, okay? But like, actually, you know, if you're a pedophile, working at Snapchat must be a great thing. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> 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 
All right. So I got the, in fact, I'll just, I'll share my screen so you guys can read along this time. Wait, um, can yeah, the Snapchat employees see all the snaps? Yeah. They're all locked safe somewhere. This is new to me. All right. You oh, put in the application? I have to go return some videotapes. So, uh, wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> the first uh, Google Doc it says exposing Blair TV and Verlist slash Veramons. Introduction. By the way, you guys can interrupt me at any moment. I'll stop. Introduction. Hello. You might know me as Pi. And helping me with this document is Cammy and a couple Pause. others who have pr proofread it. I'm not calling you Pi Girl anymore. You're just Pi. Yeah. And we're going to just... cream you for content. God. Oh, my no. God. No. <laughs> we're not going this far with this. Yes, we are. We're going to milk it so hard it becomes cream. <laughs> Stop! We're not going to be able to monetize it. Go ahead, you think bro. we're here for money? <laughs> you think we're here for money? Mitch, they're a minor. No. Oh! Oh! No! <laughs> <laughs> before! I said no! that four or five times already. Why did you no! Say well, that? I wasn't listening! Oh, no! Just <laughs> about! Just about! Cut that out! Cut no. that out! No. Uh, no, we're not. <laughs> we're keeping that in. Oh, no! Why do you think I stayed quiet when Toxic decided to go mask off? <laughs> I got the perfect... saying this... Yeah, I got the perfect title. Creaming I Pie Girl. Creaming Pie Girl. <laughs> with pie Girl Creams. Like, come on, dude. You can't put that in the YouTube. That's... They're... Yes, you can. No. <laughs> you can't. The creaming of pie. No. <laughs> no. You know, <laughs> in the comments, all right? Let me know if that was a good title or not. The creaming of pie... Uh... Pie. The creaming of pie. I don't even have to put man or girl. They just said pie. The creaming of pie. There's okay. no context there. Okay. Right. It's a good title. Huh? So the Google Doc can get into it. <laughs> anyway, if you're on the, in the small commentary community, you'll probably know who Blair TV at Blair Television on Twitter and Very at Very Least on Twitter are. You'd Not also really. know that I was in an online relationship with the latter from early July to mid December. A few weeks ago, I was informed by Blair TV that this relationship was a, fa was a facade. What first was the result of Very's savior complex became a gay op organized by them and Blair. Very's motive being psychopathic entertainment and Blair's being revenge for my actions with the Lucy uh, Satan Antifa situation what? in February of this year. So the Lucy person is the one that was like trading pictures with Pie Girl last year. Uh, here, I intend to expose this malicious operation and prove that Blair was complicit in the emotional and physical abuse I suffered from Barry, as well as that Blair is an emotional abuser who manipulated me for the vengeful purposes. But first, a bit of a history lesson. Background information. Blair and I were good friends for almost a year, meeting each other in March of 2021 and having our friendship ended in February of 2022. The reason our friendship ended was an incident that occurred in relation to Lucy, a mutual friend of ours. Both Blair and I had been separately sexting with Lucy, and one day Lucy offered to show me Blair's news, which I said yes to. Soon after I admitted to and apologized for this, leaving the internet for a couple months, to be clear, since some people have this misunderstanding, I never shared anyone's nudes. Or had anything to do with revenge porn. Pause. By May, Lucy's a pimp. I, I got respect for Lucy. Okay, I, not no. both of them. Uh, both? Good for them. I don't even know. Is Lucy a minor as well, or were they overage? Because that would be even well. Weirder. Okay, that's okay. If they're overage, then never mind. I don't know. I honestly don't know. I forgot. I'm assuming the, all of these people are children. When that story dropped, it was just AC brought it into the voice chat and was talking about. It. We were reading the Google Doc, and I'm like, yeah, I'm not. I'm not. This is before now recording, so I was like, "Yeah, we're not." <laughs> I'm. You expect me to bring this to Tommy C on Shop from the Point? And be like, "Guess what? <laughs> a bunch of small commentary miners are sharing nudes with each other." Tommy, <laughs> let's cover <laughs> it. <laughs> uh, by May, I was back on the internet, still feeling very guilty over what I did, but significantly improved as a person. But this is when I met Vivari whom I very quickly developed an extremely close relationship with, often calling for hours every day gaming together, and DMing for several hours daily. In early June, I experienced significant personal hardship having a video that made up lies about me being a racist pedophile sent to my family members, being outed as transgender to them, and being severely limited in my ability to interact online. As I was already under a lot of stress and was having serious mental health issues, this affected me really badly, but the damage was stunted by very. The fake relationship. After the crisis, 
I confessed to Vary that I was in love with them, which they responded with by saying they felt the same about me. I oh. asked they w- wanted to get into a relationship, and they agreed, while Vary told me later that they can't remember if right at the start was of our relationship they had some feelings for me, if it did disappear immediately. Blair claims Verily got the relationship with me out of pity as a part of a savior complex, a hypothesis I agree with. And here's a link right here. Uh, Click it. Yep, we're clicking it. Here we go. Uh, Hi. Now, I'm doubting whether they were really too busy to talk all the time. Lol. Blair TV. Oh, no, they weren't. I know this because on the day in September, I had the exact same epiphany you just did. You're not the only one in this situation, although I am using it as a method of catharsis. In fact, we're the, not the only two individuals in this situation. This has happened so many times before, where Very encounters a broken individual, lies to them, and attempts to show them affection, and a sad attempt to keep them alive. They do this because of abandonment. They hurt people as a result of pain from themselves. Yeah, Blair sounds like a really smart person. Uh, Blair's, Blair's involved. Wait, 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 Matt. What would you have done if that link took you to their nudes? Because uh, <laughs> like well, you got... I obviously, well, obviously, well, we're all looking at his computer. We'd all be equally guilty. <laughs> okay, obviously, they don't I watch Doc on the radio stream. I watched Doc on the radio stream. He clicked all the links, so I know I'm good. All right, they can update it. Well, that'd be. <laughs> well, I think we just end the podcast and never talk about this again. And then I just throw my laptop <laughs> in a fucking bottle of water. <laughs> like, like, I just burn my laptop and never, never be on. Like everybody be like, "What happened to Matt Pitt?" And, you guys would be well, like, oh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Just, yeah, just some of you guys turns up day. called Pat Mitt. <laughs> oh. uh, Blair's involvement. From the DMs Blair sent me between her and Vari, Blair was unaware the relationship with the, was a facade until late September, by which time Vari's attitudes towards the relationship had strayed from the original aim of making me feel better. In the following screenshots, you will see Blair find out that the relationship was fake, as well as her clearly understanding how mentally damaging it would be for me. All right, here's the first link. I'm just holding my breath when you click these. All right, so I'm, 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 all right so Blair TV, <laughs> in early July, I told you I had romantic feelings for you, and you had told me that you weren't ready for any form of relationship due to mental health stuff. So why literally immediately after did you enter one with Pi? It outright seemed like you intentionally lied and was the main driving force behind why Wars. i thought you a liar why did you stay why did you say that if it wasn't true vari i believe i told you this already but i shall say it again it was a panic decision not my best move all right, uh, all right. so are these all online relationships yes like 100%. they don't know it oh my god it's all e-dating uh, so blair, blair tv huh? says blair tv says of course although look I gotta tell you, I it, it just saying that the friendship was one-sided, although you appreciate it, was enough to make me cry a bit. Imagine what saying the whole relationship was fake to Pi will do. It's gonna be quite the shit show. And Vari says, I wasn't even gonna say it was fake. I was gonna say something that involves school and wanting to work on my mental health. And Blair TV says, so, lying. All right, Why does Blair sound the- like she's a 1930s uh, news I, reporter? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I'm trying to mix it up a bit. All right, Blair TV says, so you're talking to this girl, and this is traumatized. Like, she has major trust issues. And so your option is to lie to the girl with trust issues to make her better. Typical woman. Vari says, guess so. And Blair TV says, that's so fucking stupid. And uh, after this, Blair TV, or Blair, started to use his this fake relationship to manipulate and emotionally abuse me, knowing I was heavily emotionally dependent on Vari since July. In the next screenshot, Blair says that the whole thing was planned for the both of us, referring to her and Vari. She also said her aim was to wreck things for closure. All right? Blair TV, believe me, I should have come prepared. Look, this whole thing was planned by the both of us for me because, goddamn, I need some kind of fucking closure. And my definition of closure is wrecking things. Them, because they're a fucking abusive psychopath. In the next screenshot, Blair mentions that when she realized how unhealthily attached I can become to people I'm romantically interested in, she realized how to go about her plan. Plan. Hi says, I'm incredibly possessive and jealous, which is also why I hated you, because I liked you a lot, and you didn't like me. Blair TV says, I remember, with Cinti Pop and Harley. You were ups- very obsessive around them, consistently attempting to get with them. Pi says, yeah. Blair TV says, when I remembered all of that, that was what made me realize how to go about this. All right. The following screenshot, where Blair says she's sunk a lot of 
thought over the past year into how I operate is also troubling. When te- taking the previous and other screenshots into account together, it pains the pi- paints the picture of Blair studying my psychology and the way my mind works to best manipulate me and as you will see emotionally abuse me to inflict the greatest harm possible all right i think the greatest harm possible is you slitting your wrist but we we can move past that pi says yeah (laughs) you're right about all that you've always been good at understanding people blair tv says i've sunk a lot of thought over the past year into how you operate i understand you quite well um those screenshots of dms Vari and blair uh, back in uh, Blair in October show Blair even more bloodthirsty for making me suffer. This was sparked by me saying on the off chance you're into them, it ain't happening about Vari and Blair, which infuriated her since she was romantically interested in Vari, which I did not know at the time. While Blair characterizes this comment as dickish, this leaves out the context that it was part of a larger message where I politely asked Blair to stop continuously making extremely sexual and creepy comments towards Vari who I reasonably assumed to be my partner at the time. In fact, I think it was an underreaction compared to how most people would react to that situation, likely due to my guilt over what I did in February. Anyways, this shows Blair specifically talking about her telling me about the relationship being fake, but you can also notice both of them discussing how to manipulate me using the relationship itself to maximize its emotional impact on me. I I hate people. Yeah. Blair TV, what's your thoughts on it? Oh shit, oh shit. On the off chance you're into them, it ain't happening, lol. I never read that. That shit is incredibly dickish, LMAO. Can I execute my prank? Very says, it really is. Very also says, what do you want to do again? And Blair TV says, tell her and stuff. All right, and the second one. And stuff. <laughs> Blair TV says, that's silly. Sort of use the information uh, of break... Use the information to sort of break her, you know? And Vary says, no, it's we're almost there. Blair TV says, but she like that. But she's like that. Things are technically better now, no? And Vary says she's terminally online, and if she did, disappears again, she's still going to come back. Besides, if you really want to get her good, you could, uh, you could, I, I guess, do it while she's being depressed over me breaking up. So they're pretty Jesus. much scheming on Miss Miss Pie Girl. Uh, Vary is pretty much faking the whole relationship. Oh, and what? That's so fucked up. The way, wait, so they're like planning to like wait for a time to, where they're like depressed and sad to like drop this. Yeah, you, you <laughs> ever seen the movie Carrie? No, Mitch, have you ever seen the movie Carrie? You're in your thirties. This may <laughs> shock you, but no, I haven't. <laughs> okay, okay. Core, Core, you never seen the movie Carrie? Okay, thanks, Core. Um, <laughs> so, Core, uh, so Carrie's a, a movie about a like a really geeky girl who gets picked on a lot, and she has like uh like pow- like telekinesis powers, right? At the end of the movie, uh, they they bring her uh, to the prom and they convince her that this boy had asked her out, right? And the boy asked her to prom, and there was this whole like diabolical scheme to get her to go to prom, and she wins prom queen. Like they vote her for prom queen. She's on the fucking uh, she's on the stage, and everybody's cheering her name and clapping. And this is like the moment like uh, there's a huge turn for her because you know she's she was a geek and now she's winning prom queen. And then it turns out it was a whole diabolical scheme, and they pour pig's blood from the ceiling, right? And it's and it like drops down onto her, and she's covered oh. in pig's blood. Uh, this is like the the e version of that, the internet version of that, right? Wait, They're what like, happened after that? Uh, she, she killed everybody in the in the gym. Actually, like, yeah, man, yeah. this movie Wait, came out in 1976. <laughs> it's been a How it's fucking old. Do you think we are? <laughs> it's been a movie that it's part of like. It's part of our culture. If you're in your 30s, you know Yeah, but know it's not Star is. Wars, which came out in 1977. It's no Star Wars. <laughs> it's right there with it at some times. Like in the horror genre, like it's... As in when it was released? It's yeah, it's in King's popularity. First no. It's one of Stephen King's first novels. But yeah, my point, <laughs> my point is like this is like the internet version of that. Pie Girl is Carrie. Um, so she's going to get covered in pig's blood. That it, Yeah, I mean, and like... Like Do you want to cover her in pig's blood, Matt? No, I'm. But Blair TV does. <laughs> Blair TV wants to cover her in pig's blood, metaphorically. Uh, would you watch? Uh, no. The reveal. Live stream? <laughs> no. Would you watch? No, I don't. Your metaphor, no. Matt. You did this. <laughs> no, I'm trying to explain a movie to you guys, and you fucking zoomers just like, would you watch it on a live stream? Well, yeah. <laughs> like, this is it's a fucking movie toxic. Well, you're making the comparison, so if no, I'm making, I... but it's not a it's not a literal comparison. It's a, a figurative, a comparison because it's the internet, right? So it's it's the e version of that. 
like they're manipulating. E they're, yeah, it's E Carrie. They're manip manipulating Pie Girl like they manipulated Carrie. Like this, this whole relationship is basically Pie Girl going to the prom. Okay. Anyways, the reveal <laughs> on the fourth of December, tw two thousand twenty-two. Blair TV friend requested my new Discord account, saying she wanted to talk to me. Since Blair, on a few prior occasions, has said she never wanted to speak to me again, this was a surprise. When I started talking with her, she talked in often cryptic terms. It was. Only after she said she did something to provide closure that she told me the truth. That was that the way she told me was in a schizo Machiavellian LARP where she would Ooh. periodically burst out into laughter, telling me that the person I loved and was emotionally dependent on for nearly six months was pretending the whole time. Keep in mind, of course, that the entire lead up and most of the last part of the relationship was orchestrated by Blair and Vari to emotionally hurt me as much as possible. The line, the cunning warrior, attacks neither body nor mind, but the heart, despite sounding like it's from a shitty middle school theater production, is especially important because it establishes that Blair aimed to use all of this as a weapon to specifically wound me, to, to wound my already fragile emotions and mental state. So that pig's blood. That, yeah, this is the pig's blood moment. There, This is a pig's blood moment right here. Okay, Blair TV. But before I get into this, if I did something incredibly cruel, would you find it justified? And would you find us even? And Pi says, probably, but it depends. Have you already Such done this thing? Question. Have you already done this thing? Blair TV says, I haven't done anything. I'm just the messenger. The cunning warrior attacks neither body nor mind, but the heart. Your I'm relationship with Very, I'm sorry to inform you. But has never been real. They played you. And Pi says, fuck, 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 what? What? Blair TV says, and I have the receipts. He he. Do you think I wonder how excited Blair TV was when she was he was she 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 was typing this a whole message in Discord, you know what I mean? I gotta remember these reminders. I can't make the jokes I wanna make. But like was her fingers like trembling? Was she like was she doing was oh, she I doing a were, court? Yeah. You think they were was getting she... excited? Like, yeah, you was know. she pulling a core? Like, you know, doing that thing yeah, right here. <laughs> oh, hey, core. Oh, Cole, wake up. <laughs> you won't you summoned him, Matt. In attack mode. Let's go. Yeah. All right. Core, have you seen that Boomer movie Matt was talking about 10 years ago? Uh, no, I, I, I heard him say that, and I, I just ignored it. We've moved past it. Blair TV says, <laughs> believe me, we're getting there. I'm honestly shocked that you didn't notice. Heh. <laughs> Like, they really showed any affection towards you. And Pi says, I thought about it sometimes. I vented often about it. And Blair TV, TV says, well, guess what? It was all true. He <laughs> he. Uh, all right. And Blair as a bystander to abuse. Well, how much do we got? Oh, God. Oh, my God. Uh, all right. Yeah, no, we're not doing this. Uh, all right. So, yeah. You want to continue? I was going to go to the second Google Doc, but if you want to continue. Oh, no. I think There's another that's one? Yes. <laughs> all right. Oh, my God. Can't just people be, ad I know they're not adults, but can they just pretend they're adults and just be adult about it and just, just fucking, don't, you don't have to write a Google Doc over fucking. I don't get yeah, No, I that's the adult thing to do is to create a Google Doc. What do you mean? Yeah. No, it's not. It's to bury your emotions deep down and never acknowledge them. That's what I do. This, these, are, yeah. these people are in my generation, right? And I'm, I'm learning. Mitch, is that what you did when you saw Squid Game? <laughs> No, I didn't write a fucking Google Doc on it. You Maybe should. You should. <laughs> Chapter one: the, the the English dub. <laughs> it was fucking terrible that you wanted to watch it in English. I kept saying I don't want to watch the English dub. But she just wanted to watch it. <laughs> uh, all right. So I'll, I'll read the pre buttles because, but like, I guess the, most of this is just her. like she got him. She got her. Like you, you revealed the big moment. Why are you continue like explaining everything? Uh, all right. So her prebuttals. This is what she would anticipate Blair would say. Uh, since Blair is one of the smartest people I know, I'm sure she has rebuttals stored up. So I thought I'd pre, but some I foresee coming. What? Mari m manipulated, abused Blair too. So it doesn't take away from what Blair knowingly did. In fact, it's even the more reason to not eagerly c collaborate with someone you know is an abuser to abuse someone else. In Blair's DMs, you once said you made friends with some of her friends, so she had to be reminded of you. I did try to become friends with two of Blair's friends back in June after she told me she didn't want to think of me. I gave up after a couple days and apologized to Blair and even 
then I never tried to hurt Blair. I just wanted to make it harder for her to hate me by making her around people who like me. It was a shitty thing to do, but it's not abuse and no way comparable to this. This is fair justice for what happened in February. I've been through so much pain from what happened in February. Not just the crippling guilt and loss of any <laughs> chance at online respect, but I've been doxxed and outed as trans to my family, had a slanderous video sent to my extended family that made them think I'm a racist pedo and more. That doesn't make what I did any less, but it is a price I've paid and I've changed as a person. I don't think you can reasonably say I deserved all the abuse too. All right. So conclusion, through all the examples given through this document, the evidence is clear that Blair TV purposefully gaslighted and manipulated me to psychologically and emotionally abuse me for moments on for months on the end. This is by encouraging assisting Vari to continue to fake a relationship with me, planning how Vari would should act and how events should occur specifically to cause the most damage to my psyche, neglecting to prevent Vari's abuse towards me and deliberately making the moment of me finding out I'd been abused for half a year as traumatic as possible. Blair bragged about most of this to me. My trauma and abuse that she directly contributed to makes her laugh. She has yet she has no remorse over this. She has planned this over months. I don't see any real apology coming from her at any time. But I think the abusers and manipulators deserve justice, so I think they should take a long break from the internet to reflect on what they've done. And now they've irreparably hurt and traumatized me, and if one day she genuinely changes, I would welcome them back. Screen recording of my full DM. Yeah, I don't care. All uh-huh. right, so, so yeah, that was the first Google Doc, right? And it got a lot of like attention. Doc on the radio did a stream on it. People were talking about it. I go, was, well, no, I'm talking about when they first covered the first Google, Google Doc. Oh. It was it was in the news. And uh, I guess uh, Pie Girl decided to make a sequel, right? Uh, cool. And so he talk, she talks about a another situation with Blair TV. Uh, and it's, it's Blair TV, Sexual Predator and Creep. That's the title. Blair TV, Sexual Predator and Creep. Introduction. Okay. If you haven't read the last document on Blair, please do. I want to start off this document by by clarifying that Blair is not a pedophile or groomer. This may okay. seem like an unnecessary <laughs> disclaimer, but some people immediately jump to calling people pedophiles after any drama about sexual misconduct, and I do not want that happening here. So, Blair TV, sexual predator and creep. Uh, this may seem like an unnecessary disclaimer, or... Uh, <laughs> If I want to start off the time of clarifying that Blair is not a pedophile or groomer, but they are a sexual predator and creep. Uh, Listen, Pie Pie Girl, you're a racist pedophile, okay? (laughs) Make up your mind. Yeah. Also, I realize me calling someone out for being a sexual degenerate and creepy is a bit of a pot calling the kettle black. Yes. Moment given how I acted last year and the first racist, huh? of this year. They called themselves black. But this behavior needs to be called out just as it was right for my behavior to be called out. People criticizing me for being a creep helped me change and improve myself, and Blair hopefully will change her behavior too, after some criticism. Now, that's out of the way, I'll begin. Blair's sexting harem. Blair TV is known for being sexual to her friends and sometimes strangers in tweets. That is often viewed as just a joke, and I'm sure she plays it up for laughs, but it's deeper than that. And private Blair TV is often very sexual and weird to her friends. Even Vary told me Blair constantly made sexual comments about them in DM, which Vary didn't care about, but also didn't respond to or engage with. The following tweet, uh, I think they're a minor as well. Ghosty, we got you a friend. (laughs) You got someone that can respond with you. (laughs) Wait, what can I... Hold on. Fucking... Someone's calling Matt. Yes. How'd you know? We heard it. Oh, really? You heard it? When you talked. Uh, Oh, shit. Is it important? Was it Tommy? It was, it was just Tommy, yeah. Just Tommy? Gasp. All right. Uh, so the following tweet is Blair saying that her obsessive flirting and public sexual comments are just for the meme. Um, here we go. Blair TV. Oh, we're being serious here. My mistake. When I started the e-flirting back in June, I did it with the assumption that people would interpret it as, oh, she's just doing a silly. It's like tipster, but for minors. Uh- <laughs> <laughs> I mean, hey, we're just doing a tipster for minors, you know? Is it yeah. wrong? <laughs> it's like diet tipster, I guess. Yeah. Like Muppet Babies. Yeah. It's actually, it's M- yeah. No, it is Muppet Babies. It's fucking Muppet Babies. <laughs> Everything I do now is going to compare to tipster. 
Tipster babies. <laughs> do, 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 do. Gonna cheat on my wife. Tipster babies. <laughs> I'm getting blocked now. <laughs> Blair TV also says, I'm not really the best with cues, so I generally didn't know people thought I legitimately, I legitimate or thought that people actually disliked it until I sent Sid the DM. After that point, the frequency of it began to slowly decrease with an intent to pull the plug in the community post apology. Okay. Uh, she said she said that she's not re- the really best with cues. Who is in this community? Uh, so it came off as many off to many as sexual harassment or creepy instead of funny. That it was a misunderstanding. However, the truth is that Blair's flirting was absolutely sexual in nature and is often intentionally to encourage people who are the most often women or trans to send her nude images. I will provide the evidence of the, for this later in the document. I will not be clicking any more links in this Google Doc. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't trust it. I think you it should, is... but before you do, let me close your stream. Okay. <laughs> it is an open secret with people who know Blair that she has a literal harem with mostly trans minors she sexed and gets nudes from. In fact, I'd say it's fair to say Blair has sex- sexed over half the trans people in the community. I personally know multiple people who Blair Jane? has routinely sexed, asked for nudes, and many of Blair's friends know of this happening. So, while it's difficult to give her visible evidence of this, I highly doubt Blair would object to this. And if she does, there are many people who can attest to this. I have also heard for a few people close to Blair that she sometimes tries to become friends with girls or trans people solely for the purpose of getting nude images from them, which would be de- by definition predatory behavior. While this may be like an idle rumor at first, there is evidence that points to this being repeated behavior for Blair. Uh, fetishing trans people behavior, uh, predatory behavior, and CP collector. Uh, uh-huh. All right, so this name right here, Shala. Pay attention to this name, Shala. It's going to come back. All right, <laughs> Shala. Shala is a relatively new member of the commentary community who is a trans girl and artist. Despite drawing Blair twice, she barely interacted with her, and they didn't know each other. From the, her message to me, Shala explains her first conversation with Blair came after Shala apologized to Blair for DMing her repeatedly to no reply. Blair responded to this apology by heavily flirting with her and asking for nudes. This all happened, uh, this all took place within an hour. While Shala didn't object to it at the time, Blair was always the one escalating the situation and attempting to really receive CP of her. In this DM conversation, (laughs) Blair and Shala, Blair within the first 40 minutes of talking to this girl for the first time, immediately takes the conversation from calling Shala cute to asking for a CP from her. The creepiest thing about this is her saying that she's speedrunning trans girls' nudes, which seems to suggest the sole reason Blair is talking to the girl is to get nudes out of a fetishization of trans people. Blair mentioning her last record is four uh, as four hours shows that this is a regular occurrence for her too. Chasers are often just tested by the trans community for being trans be, people. Wouldn't you be flattered by that though? If they like fetishize, fetishize you and your people? Actually, you uh, know what? Now that I say that out loud. <laughs> yeah, no, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't think so. Like, I mean, they're not like. I mean, I think the only ones that are like cool that are like the fat dudes, right? Like, well, would it be BB offensive to fetishize Jewish people? Okay. Well, Matt, I was gonna, I was coming at it from like a, <laughs> a missing leg perspective, right? What? You oh yeah, that, Matt. No, no, it's no. Well, here's really? the, no. The thing with devotees, right? It's never a woman. It's always okay, dude. If it was right, if it was a woman, yeah, yeah, I'd be flattered. See, I just said it like horribly, but you know, we get around to my point. The only problem is like with women amputees, like they'll go to sleep at night and then they'll wake up to some dude like sniffing their stumps. That that's happened before. <laughs> Do they smell? Different? Yeah, they're like no, they're like licking, like they're just like it's weirdly really weird. Like I mean, people if follow. it's like extra sensitive, do, like why not? How do women amputees spread their legs? <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> well, how do they how do they open up if they don't have any they, legs? They they get on they got on whatever remaining part of their knee is left and they spread that. <laughs> uh, so uh, how Blair has acted in this situation and in situations I have yet to mention show that Blair sees trans people and often women as sexual objects for her to use rather than as people. We all Only do. A... <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. Only a few hours later, Blair asked Shala to delete all her message, given that Shala just sent Blair a CP of herself at Blair's request, and that at the time Blair was playing GTA at the same time while only getting sexual to ask for nudes. I think it's reasonable to assume that Blair saved the pic on her computer as she was too busy to do anything with it then. 
A similar story to this, where Blair asked for nudes and soon after asked them to be deleted, uh, it happened to other people. I know who have sex. I know who have sexed Blair too. If Blair does indeed have saved CP of people she asked for nudes from, more likely than in my opinion, but impossible to improve, she mm-hmm. likely has more CP than anyone in the. This is like a fucking equation. Jesus Christ! She likely has more <laughs> CP than anyone in the commentary community. Blair has asked and received CP from multiple minors, which is a proven fact. Her saving these images to her computer is just a step from more deplorable, uh, step more deplorable than her first thought. The last thing I want to mention about Shala is that after Blair got her nudes, she never really interacted with her again, rarely replying to DMs and ignoring her. Essentially, Blair used Shala to get her nudes uh, of her, throw her away. All Blair wanted was the nudes. She was useless otherwise. Okay, I don't care about the Grace and Callie part. Uh, the Shala part is what I'm more interested in here, because uh, Pie Girl put out a twit longer. Uh, let me. Uh, Who do you think has the most Another CP one. in the community? What's up? Who do you think has the most CP in the most? <laughs> I, I don't. I don't know them all, but it's like I know. I know Jeff has three thousand cod points. Though. Excuse. Me? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, really scared. <laughs> yeah. So Pie Girl, now the Shala person, I guess, was someone that Pie Girl got in touch with and was sent screenshots. And then Pie Girl puts out this uh, uh, twit longer and says, addressing the Shala allegations. So this morning in my document to showing how creepy Blair was, I included as a major section someone named Shala as a source. In this section, I show DMs between me and Shala with her explaining to me the situation as well as Matt, DMs between Sh- What? I have 800 CP. Good, good for you. <laughs> <laughs> this cool. is like the big twist all right like, okay like, i'm sorry. sorry all right i showed dms between me and shala with her explaining to me the situation as well as dms between shala and blair in the dms between shala and blair after shala apologized for dming blair too much blair begins to flirt with shala after 40 minutes uh and after 40 minutes asking for her news the allegations are true that shala is me and yes, what? it's extremely weird and schizo. However, it's not as bad as it might seem. So basically what happened was Pie Girl created an alt account and uh, jumped into Blair TV's uh, DMs and tr- basically gay opt Blair TV. But, like, that's Wait what, a minute. Yeah. Whose nudes were sent? Oh, yeah. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Um, uh, oh, are I, you talking about... Are you talking the, about uh, if Pie Pie person sent nudes? Yeah, well, obviously they did. They did but was it of they them did. or was it of some yes. random? Yes. The only I reason have... I know this, the only reason I know this, uh, I have two inside sources who were looking into this, and apparently, uh, it was the same skin tone. I don't know if they saw mm-hmm. the nudes, but they saw. I hope something. not. I hope not. Jesus. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I was looking into this story. Um, I, yeah, yeah, cool. I, didn't look, I didn't look into the story. I didn't look into the story. They they were sitting in a VC, and they were talking about it. And they were they were like, "Wait, this person has the same skin tone as as Pie Person." So wait, those uh, weren't all they. No, no, no. That was Don Doc and Radio. Those weren't nudes. Those were pictures of them in clothes, with, and they were looking at the skin tone. Those were not nudes. I, I think you might be mistaken. Oh, uh, I, I hope so. Nudes, I think I think. Uh, Pie Girl actually just got a random nude from the Google images. Uh, and yeah. So, uh, in fact, doesn't look 15. Wow. I started the account back in November because I felt extremely frustrated that my baggage history made many people who I was sure I would get along with not want to interact with me. I also felt very limited with my personal, uh, with my, with my personal people who I was sure, who my personal I've developed online. As I feel way more natural to act more feminine, but acting like this, that on my Pi account feels weird because of the persona I've developed on there. Once I started the account, I began to talk to former friends of mine that I miss, but who wouldn't talk to me now. <laughs> that is fucking yeah, sad. Is. That is sad. Holy shit. Uh, <laughs> this includes Blair. I int- intended to develop a friendship with them because I really miss being friends bullshit with them and enjoyed their company. In hindsight, this was obsessive and weird. Yes. Unlike what Cammy says in his thread, I never intended to catfish Blair or anything. Like I say in my DM, after I apologized to her for DMing her too much, she started flirting with me. Now, this was non-sexual flirting, the type that is common between platonic trans friends, just uwu speak. Uh, what? Uh, Mitch, do you know anything about uwu speak? <laughs> uwu speak? Is that like yeah. that cutesy Japanese shit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is that anything like, you know, 
I don't know. No, I, I don't speak Uwu. Okay. I think Beavers knows a little bit about that. Yeah, I think Beavers would be uh, uh, knows very well about Uwu. So I, I didn't think too much of it. Then completely unprompted and unexpectedly, Blair asked me for the nudes. I did not send her my nude, as that would be extremely weird, and I would not feel comfortable with that. I stupidly decided to play along. I sent her a pic from Google Images. At this yeah. point, I knew I could use this for the Google document, as Blair out of nowhere asking for someone's nudes was pretty damning, so I thought. After that screenshot... The DM, uh, after the screenshot, uh, after that, I screenshotted the DMs and I decided to use them in the doc to make sure no one knew it was me. I made a fake testimonial where I explained what Blair did, but didn't mention I sent a nude from Google Images instead of my own, as that would look really suspicious. So I didn't try and catfish Blair. She sexually harassed my secret alt. <laughs> oh my God. Uh, bro, I didn't try to catfish them. They sexually harassed my alt. All right. This way. Like, it wasn't catfish at all. What? Yeah, I didn't DM them five times and said, I'm sorry for being weird. Like, yeah, that wasn't, you know, but they, they flirted with me, guys. I wasn't being weird and gay by having an alternate persona. I used to be friendly with people who hate me, but it isn't nearly as bad as Cammy makes it out to me. It also really is disingenuous and stupid to put it in the Google Doc like it was some, someone else, too. Really schizo of me. I'm going to keep this Shala account to continue to post artwork there, but now that is known. That is not me. I won't try and hide it. So yeah, there you go. That's uh, that. So Pie Girl created an alt account and started DMing people that who that like casted her aside right after she got exposed last year and somehow got in touch with Blair and they started flirting and then she decided to use that for the Google Doc. I just thought that was uh, you know. <laughs> I wish I thought about things like this when I was younger, right? Because, <laughs> like, when you have a friend and they don't want to talk to you anymore, you know, you just get sad. You move on eventually, right? But no, yeah. I could have just, like, made an all and, like, well, I guess that wouldn't work IRL. Never mind. I could do blackface. That might work. I don't think that'll work anymore. Really? Yeah, I don't know. You don't think they would be my friend after that? No, I don't think so, bro. Oh. Well, I think, yeah, I think, I think it's over. Um, we miss Beavers and. Um, we're going to shout him out here. Um, trans people, add him to your big Twitter group chat. I'm sure you have one. Because apparently all of you know each other. Beavers underscore McWood. Do you remember when Pie Girl first it's like the exposed? Illuminati. They've got a big group. It's the Illuminati. <laughs> it's called the, the Illuminatrannies. Oh my god. Oh, sorry, Do was you... that too far? No, no just Beavers just said that word but way so many times. Uh, <laughs> oh. uh, so, do you remember the first thing Pie Girl got exposed for? They were yeah. like flirting with a twelve-year-old that they thought was older. How old and was that? Like this how was older? Eighteen older or old? 20? 15 Fifteen. Oh, okay. Well, th- well, they're a minor, right? So they were like yeah. fifteen, right? And they thought they were like fourteen. Yeah, they're a minor. They were like seventeen, talking to an eight-year-old. It's fine. But the, so the twelve-year-old <laughs> lied, right? And then, um, what's that guy's name? Core. What's the guy's name? Stella. Stella Vindicta, the oh. John Swan's friend. Uh. You, the annoying guy you don't like. There's a lot of people I don't like. <laughs> Not my friend who Nick hates. Staff? No. <laughs> uh, I have no idea. I forgot where he went by now, but he his at is Stella Vindicta, is Star Tuber. Uh, he was the guy who uh, uh, Chris Hansen like messaged their father on Facebook. Oh. Uh, yeah, so they they called into a Nick stream where Nick was doing a tier list, and they were like, because Nick had mentioned Pie Man, right? At this time, he was known as Pie Man. Nick mentioned Pie Man and put him on the top tier because they showed him a video. He thought he was funny, and he was like, "Did you know Pie Man talked to a twelve year old?" And Nick, and then Aiden was like, "Yeah, but he didn't know." And oh my god, he was like, "Yo, he was turned on by it." It's a very famous soundbite. Uh, but yeah, that's what kind of started this whole thing was the that and oh the main reason was because once pie man knew she was 12 he still said something weird and it got like turned into this whole thing uh he did this podcast with the he he did this podcast with two other people and they did a episode on this and it just basically turned into a pie man exposed episode which i i wonder one day if that's gonna happen to beavers you know <laughs> like no we would never <laughs> no but yeah, that's what's like started this whole thing with Pi Man, and he's been very weird ever since, or she's been very weird ever since. Like, uh, saying doing weird things, being edgy for the sake of being edgy to try and get attention, 
uh, making Google Docs and Twitlongers and then freaking out and then deleting and then coming back and then sharing nudes with minors and all of this stuff. And it, it just turned into a recipe for a disaster. And it's always very interesting when Pie Girl mm-hmm. shows back up into the community because something's going to happen. But yeah, that's pretty much everything I have on Pie Girl. Um, we tried to get her on, uh, reached out to Bunk. It turns out Pie Girl had unfriended Bunk on Discord and has uh, seemed to have left the internet, which good for her. Not but, it. Uh, I would have liked to have heard her account. Story. Yeah, I would have liked to have heard her side of the story, but unfortunately, uh, this is where the story ends until Pie Girl returns. And well, I don't Matt, think- you, I yeah. saw you was very aggressive towards this kid on uh, Twitter. What's going on there? What? Yeah, I saw you made a couple of tweets on Twitter, a little aggressive towards this kid. What's going on? What did I tweet? He was like, I think uh, Pie Girl is doing this for attention. And Oh, yeah, you know, I thought, I, I felt like Pie Girl had a, a dwarfin rush when they started getting the attention on the Google Doc, so they decided to drop another one. Hmm. They were getting a lot of attention. Yeah, they're, they're addicted to this shit, bro. They can't help yeah. it. Would you and say that they, like, they're milking it? Yeah. So they're like creaming it. I don't know. No, all right. <laughs> but I think like I think they're addicted to this and it's ruining their lives, and they should get help. That's really all I can say about the situation. Uh, <laughs> let's talk help. about let's talk about Flaptina. Who? Flaptina. Flaptina <sighs> guys. From one trans to another trans. So there's a bunch of shit going on with salad pancakes. We're not gonna go into it because we don't know the whole story and it's a shit show. But and we need to do our research. We need to do our True. research. <laughs> but there was a recorded uh, voice chat which has had leaked to Sen, and which got we got a hold of it. And uh, during this voice chat, there's a lot of talks about these girls telling their stories. And every now and then, Flaptine will just butt in and say something, and it gets very interesting. Corey, do you want to play this? Oh, you want me to play this on? I I thought we. Never mind. I'll do it. I'm in a Warzone game. I can't hit the button right now. No, I'm not playing. War- I'm not playing video games. I actually took this one seriously. So believe let's it go. Or not. Yeah. Uh, let me just queue it up. I'm gonna have yeah. to mute myself so I won't be able to commentate at all. Well, you got. You, you can't. Oh, you're on soundpad, right? Yeah. Yeah. But but my noise you mute, suppression mute, kicks mute in. Mute your mic or whatever. Yeah, I'm muting my mic. My no- my noise suppression kicks in. So okay. Uh, so I I won't be able to talk. Just okay. letting you know. Just pause when we say pause. Sit down. Yeah. Well, I think I've been talking to some people about this. I've noticed, at least in the commentary-ish community, and I use that term loosely, there's in this pattern of kind of loser toxic men. Whoa. <laughs> and I'm not saying that of anyone specifically, but I've just okay. I've seen a lot of uh, behavior from men online specifically that's pretty distasteful and embarrassing in terms of how they interact with people they think they can bully and especially how some of these guys interact with women well, uh, can you pause it's do you hear that like rubbing in the background what is what are they doing uh are they, like, it's like a, off while they're like talking about this it's like a shitty recording probably i don't know but uh yeah it's, it sounds really weird i think they're uh, about to come <laughs> they're just dr- he's fucking <laughs> jerking off in the voice chat being like yeah they're really yeah. cool to to women guys oh you know? toxic men right now <laughs> they're, so, uh. they're so toxic <laughs> you know uh, Flop, i think Flop, Flop Tino was i was in a call or i was in on a stream with him once and he i was like yeah they uh do this and that and they were like you mean he i'm like what they corrected <laughs> me from saying they like dude come on as they should <laughs> go ahead core it's you know a joke's a joke but sometimes it it goes a little bit overboard i've noticing a lot of them have disproportionate uh reactions to to women (laughs) than they do to each other um i know that's a bit vague but i've just been noticing that for a bit just some of these guys tend to really like to bully females it seems like i mean you know i would just say prepare for some of the commentary people once they start hearing about it to talk about it in less than unfortunately that's already pause. happening pause uh so we're not we're not talking about it we're not we're talking about flaptina talking about it talking about us <laughs> like, i don't even know what they're referring <laughs> to what what are the, what do they think that we're going to talk about fucking mr ural is all right here's what here here's what happened right I'm in a fucking voice chat, or I'm I get a DM like, 
uh, some shit's going down in the salvo server and fucking like i go in a voice chat with mr ural and he starts telling me all of this and i'm like this sounds like bullshit dude and i just leave and then i guess <laughs> like mr ural just was uh freaking out went into the brick server started like f- like fights in the brick server and all this stuff because <laughs> like i guess he was like being called the leaker you know and he was he was kind of leaking stuff i'm being honest with you he was like mr ural you're a member of now recording and everything and i greatly appreciate it but i mean you know like i don't know like i think you took this way too seriously uh and it was really uh and you were just having like these weird uh panic attacks or something while this was all going on i think you were way too involved in this uh really you probably, invested. yeah really invested <laughs> you probably should took a step back man uh you're more you, invested you know, than those people were in logan paul's uh shit coin smile yeah all right yeah. keep playing core uh, that's unfortunately <laughs> that's already happening yeah i mean dude a few of these guys like can't even get my story straight when they were talking about my big freak out they, you know i've heard some people talking about it and they completely mischaracterize things i've said and things about myself and you know are just straight up lying so Pause. it is what it is with some of these yeah. guys out here that- so you can mischaracterize anything at any point on a podcast you ha- have different opinions uh, there was no intentions to mischaracterize Floptina. We had theories. We had we were skeptical of the yeah. situation. But Matt, we were... if it's not if it's not what they want it to be, then it's it's wrong and messed yeah, up. Yeah, it's wrong and it's lies and it's uh, all all it's sinuous like uh, bad faith actions. And but no, it was simply like okay, they freaked out and hey, they say it's a troll. Seems pretty funny. Uh, what if it wasn't a troll? What if they actually freaked out? And they were using the troll to like, like to as to be like as like a shield, being like, "Haha, just kidding, troll." Uh, the reason why we brought it up is because it just happened to us with uh, Beaver Man, and we were simply thinking, like, you know, like that's it's plausible. Like in Discord, which is in these servers, there are a lot of weirdos and degenerates and autists and spurgs who will do stuff like that, who will spurg the fuck out and then come back and be like, "Ah, gotcha," you know. You know, I'll never know if you for sure actually were trolling from the beginning. Like you said, you entered the Parking Tiger server as like an op. An op for who, Floptina? Were you spying for Xyli? Like, what? And like, so the whole fucking song, sing song thing that was that was a plan from the beginning, the diss track, you know, maybe. But I, I'm allowed to have like a, I'm allowed to theorize like, what if it wasn't a troll? Like, what if like he was actually serious? And then kind of spun. Flaptina, you started out in a chat, like being like, "Oh, I want, I want Matt Pitt to s- sit on my face, stuff like that." Like, what? I don't know who, I don't know you, right? I don't know who you are, so I don't, I can't like trust you. So obviously, I'm going to be skeptical. And you gotta have an understanding that people are going to be skeptical of you. Anyone can. Um, uh, Matt, I think I figured out where all this hate is coming from from your end. Well, um, I think that. Floptina had a crush on you, and then now that they don't, you're really upset, and it's like working you up. And I understand yeah. that, but you just gotta let it go, all right? Just yeah, like well, Pie Girl, you gotta let those yeah. relationships go, man. Okay, what? All right, you, we were you had a little funny bit there with the, oh, <laughs> like calm down, buddy. All right, all right, now he's gonna start going off on me. Here we go. Yeah, uh, <laughs> play core. Characterize things I've said and things about myself, and you know, or just straight up lying. So. It is what it is with some of these yeah. dudes out here. That's what, like that's what I was saying. A lot of these dudes are just kind of fucking losers, and yeah. they don't not. get stories straight before they go talking shit on their little live streams. And yeah. it is what it is. Pause. I feel like we don't get stories straight. We talk about the stories while they're happening. Uh, if you yeah. wanted to tell your side of the story, you could call into a stream, or you can come on now recording and tell your side of the story. We will have you. We will happily have you. Like there is no, there is no black ball for Floptina, you know. And clearly, they listen to our life. I mean, why else would you? <laughs> why would you say those particular words? Like, 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 as if you haven't watched our content. Yeah. Smile. All right. Press play. And yeah. it is what it is. I feel like the people are just gonna victim blame Ashers. Yeah. Oh yeah, I'm gonna be the asshole. <laughs> Well, that's what I was saying. It's like, that's what they like to do. They have these, uh, you know, this different set of rules when they're judging women than they judge other men, you know? And mm-hmm. Again, some of them, like, aren't that 
fart. <laughs> so I think that's where they move this way. I don't, I don't really know how else to characterize it. I've just, I've just seen some uh, behaviors from some dudes who orbit these YouTubers, and they just they make me sad. As people, he's mad. I mean, Matt Pitt's been going around. Oh, I just want. I paused myself, but I just want to say, Floptina, you fucking orbit YouTubers. What the fuck are you yeah, talking you about? Yeah, you started out as an orbiter. Like, what the fuck? You orbited Xyli. Like, all right, here's the thing with Floptina. Uh, at one point, they, like, called into Dave's stream when Tommy was on, and they were talking about, like, military weapons or something, and Floptina had a tape that Dave and Tommy were like, what? <laughs> they were, they kind of just laughed it off and, like, kind of shat on Floptina. Floptina kind of took that a little... That was my first, like, red flag. Floptina took that seriously and was actually mad at that very small situation and it turned into this whole like and then they kind of like they like left for a little while because they were mad at that and I, that's when i was thinking like all right uh oh no something might be kind of up with you oh no <laughs> little red flag there yeah but flop tina I, I i don't know i think you're just really i think you're you're mad about the fact that like i'm it's not even that i don't believe you flop tina it's just that i'm skeptical Right, I'm not. I'm not going around being like Floptina's a full blown liar. Red flags everywhere. Get rid of Floptina. Ah, uh, no. I'm just being like, yeah, I don't know if he's telling the truth about certain things. Like you know, but like a lot of people lie, so huh, I'll move on. You know, uh, press play. I mean, Matt Pitt's been going around saying I'm a liar and stuff too for a bit, so I'd be careful of him and the boys from his podcast whose names I still don't know. Well, I oh, kicked him earlier. He was snooping. Whoa, he was. I what? wanted. To, I wanted to talk about movies, bro. Why do you like Britney Spears? <laughs> his mic sucks. Can I say yeah. that his mic is so bad? But yeah. um, why is why is Flop Tina talking like he's they're asking a question every sentence? I hate when people do that. It's like, oh my god. Good Mr. Ural sent me an invite. I didn't go in at first. I didn't go in for like a couple hours because I was like, "This bullshit," and I was just like, "I'll just go back in and see what they're talking about. Maybe they're talking about movies again." Because they were talking about movies the night before, and then I got kicked. And I was like, damn. But uh, I go back in, and then I'm, like, immediately kicked, like, pretty soon after that. And then I find myself in the AD30 server, and, like, well, and then I'm thinking, now I'm curious. Now I'm like, why are they kicking people out? And he puts the invite in the AD30 server. So I'm like, all right, fair game. I, cl I click it, <laughs> and immediately gone. Like, I, someone writes in the chat, ban Matt Pitt, and I'm like, oh, fuck. Oh. I'm gone. But, you know, yeah. Um interesting uh flop tina's warning ashers about us right we've had ashers on this podcast uh ashers loves me okay twice we've had her on twice we've had her on multiple times we she was in the, the tournament we had her on for a full-blown interview she had a debate with doc on the radio yep. uh we're in ashers corner we like ashers we think ashers Man. yeah we, we have we're no issue get married one day okay we we had a private conversation with ashers uh, before she even did a podcast with us, where she went over everything, we we heard her in private, and then she did not. Then she didn't want to come on the podcast, and we were like, "Okay, that's yes, fine. me me and Ashers had a private session. Yes, yeah. So like, if, if you don't want to trust us, that's fine. But I think you have bias, Laptina, because again, you think we're like lying about you. All right. Uh, is is there anything else, Core? Oh yeah, there, there's uh, there's a good a good little bit left. Okay, okay, press play. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I kicked him earlier. He was snooping. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so was um, so was Yidia, I believe. I can't remember what his actual name is in Discord. Matt Pitt was going on on a bunch of live streams and his podcast, and they were talking about my song, and he basically like mischaracterized things I said, <laughs> and he was calling me a liar and stuff, uh, which I thought was funny, but I don't care. I would just be you do care. You don't. You don't care. Yeah. You, you don't <laughs> care. You sure? I don't yeah. know. Seems kind of uh, because they have a tendency to get stories wrong and run with them. I think his podcast is called Now Recording. Pause, pause, I'm not pause, sure. Pause, I don't pause, know. Pause, pause, pause. Uh, Core, are you a journalist? <laughs> not that I'm aware of. No. Mitch, are you a journalist? Yes. No, really? I'm not. <laughs> Sorry. No, I'm not. <laughs> Reporting here, Australian news. Mitch, uh, my ass is not hairy. Da -da -da -da. Um, not... Toxic, are you a journalist? Uh, yeah, Matt, I'm a journalist. Uh, <laughs> uh, sorry, it's my Parking Tigers impression. We're not journalists. <laughs> we don't strive to get stories right or wrong. We just want to fuck around on podcasts. 
Like we're, no, we're we always right. Look, Shut up. I don't. We don't have poll. We are not trying to ruin people's lives. We are simply bullshitting on streams and talking on podcasts and having fun. That's all we do. We don't make commentary videos. We just do podcasts on Spurg drama because we think it's funny. Uh, yeah. So like this whole they're getting stories wrong. Ah, da, 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 da. Like okay. Um, Still cool. name four. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I I would love to know what stories we've gotten wrong, and I, I love when people say that they I mean, they've gotten stories wrong. Uh, okay, so what 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 stories are are you talking about? The only you guys time, actually the only can you guys think of one. The, I mean, I have to go. No. I would have to go through a backlog. I mean, <laughs> like I'm sure we've gotten well, details wrong in situations. Probably, but like yeah. the full like the majority narrative. We of the definitely story. got the pie girl shit wrong. I'm sure there's gonna be people in the. Uh, in the comments being like pie girl was actually blah 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 like yeah we've gotten stuff wrong but i don't think we've i don't think we've done anything like like hazardous you know not yet. again again we're not like a news channel we're a bullshit podcast you need to listen to while you're at work or are in the help or beating on. your wife or like murdering oh, children or <laughs> no, i'm gonna God. press play now get stories wrong and run with them I think his broadcast is called Now Recording. I'm not sure. I don't know any. I know. It's yeah, been... that's the one. That's yeah, that's the one with <laughs> cool. Uh, I, don't know, cool. I don't know their names, and I don't care to know their names. So... <laughs> He's not sure I, on the podcast title, not... but he got it right. Yeah, yeah. I think yeah. it's called Now Recording with. Uh, <laughs> oh. Yeah, but I'm not sure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fucking Mister Euro is like, oh, about the oh no, I know exactly what it is. Like it's a... called Toxic. <laughs> 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 yeah, so I don't know. Like fucking Flop Tina, you're mad. Cope. I made a point of not That's learning cool. any of their names. <laughs> just, all you need to know is they're just a, they're a offshoot of Tommy T's yeah. shot from the point. Yeah, I get along with the guys relatively. I get along with the guys relatively well there, but yeah, they're not the most. Um, <clears throat> they don't do the most research out of. Out of True. Out of, I claim to have millions of dollars. Research. Bro, Mr. Ural's just shitting on us, man. He said we don't He's do right. research. Bullshit! I, I do. I do the research, all right? I'm the fucking guy that goes around fucking Yeah, so the story's questions. wrong, blame Matt. No, the story's wrong, blame Matt. <laughs> Fuck you, all right? It's Toxic's <laughs> podcast, and it's his own Toxic. channel. Like, Matt's yeah. the host. Yeah, Matt's the host. Matt does all the work. <laughs> Bro. Yeah. I, dude, I put a lot of work into this podcast. Like, I, I've done a lot of stuff. I, I put a lot into it. And Mr. Euro, um, it's like you, gonna... <laughs> you apologized to us. You apologized to Mickey Mitch. He had no idea what the fuck you were talking about. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. He came on a live stream of mine yesterday and he starts apologizing to us. And I'm like, for what? I don't understand. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I gave him a little scare because I had him been like, Mr. Euro, I hear you're talking shit. Oh, I, heard, I heard a recording. Uh, <laughs> And he's just oh what oh huh? oh what? I'm so sorry I'm so sorry my I oh you know like Mr. Earl does uh yeah Mr. Earl we'll let bygones be got bygones sir I get that you were caught up in the the community and you were just trying to be sociable with Flaptina and tell her him things that they want to hear I understand I understand uh take a break buddy it'll be okay I want I want Mr. Earl to apologize to me on a public uh. Hardcourt stage. That's what I want. Yes, that's really <laughs> hardcore. Please. The, the apologies of Mr. Ural. Just have him apologize to everyone in the server. Like exactly. Yeah, yeah just, just add them one at a time. I'm sorry. <laughs> <for> you, you. <laughs> yeah. All right. All right. Uh, we got like 30 seconds left. Okay. Oh. I claimed. He said I claimed to have millions of dollars, which I never claimed. I claimed to be a millionaire, which is different than having millions Pause. of dollars. No. <laughs> oh, semantics. Uh, okay. What? What? Um, I never claimed to have millions do of dollars. I claim to be a millionaire. Here's the thing. Uh, cool. I'm poor. I live in a trailer. Trailer. So if you have millions of dollars, or if you have, a, if you're a millionaire, I just I call that millions of dollars. Like that's millions of dollars to me. That's money I will probably never have in my entire life. So if you're claiming to be that, then yeah, I, that's what I said, and that's what all, all of us said. Because like. So when you let me just let me just paint the picture here for you, Flaptina. When you're in a Discord server with a lot of people who don't really have lives, like myself and Toxic and you know Mitch and Quartz kind of have 
Core kind of has not. life. But you know, we don't have lives. I'm disabled, toxic's disabled. Uh you know, Mitch is uh Mitch is has Mitch an is only mentally friends. disabled. Yeah, <laughs> mentally disabled. But like we don't have lives, right? Like we're just miserable people on Discord trying to like get by, right? And then hey, you don't put, no, 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 don't write me in with you. I don't know half the shit that's going on, and that is because I have a life outside yeah. of here. And yeah. then every now and then, Mitch, get in here. I'm like, okay, what's going on? I don't know because I haven't. Yeah, continue. Sorry. But my point... When's the last time you watched Squid Game, though? <laughs> Fucking, it was in May. My point, Flop Team, is when you're in Discord servers and you're living your miserable life and you're just going about your day. And then someone pops in and they start bragging about how much money they have and how they had this great job with this very important boss. And they keep talking about it, talking about it, and talking about it. It's you start to think like, well, why aren't you like, why are you on discord? <laughs> why are you, why are you, why are you here? Why aren't you enjoying your millions of dollars? Why, why aren't you? It's only one million, Matt. Okay. Why aren't you going living in this amazing life you have? Why are you on Discord? And, there's a lot of people who want to brag about their lives to try and make them look good, to try and make them look uh, what they would want to be. Uh, it's like they're living out of fantasy on the internet. That happened. That's that's internet 101. Every, like when the internet started, that's all anybody did was they created their own little avatar and they created their own little idea of what they would want to be and they pretended to be them and like basically role played uh, being like a rich like uh, athlete or something. And that's how they live things out. So when I hear someone in a Discord server saying, bragging about how much money they have and all this stuff, I have skepticism. I'm skeptical. Yeah. Speak for yourself, Matt. My dad's Elon Musk. Yeah. Yeah. My 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 dad uh my dad owns Microsoft, and uh, yeah. he'll get he'll get you banned permanently from Xbox yeah, yeah. Live. Well, well, yeah, guys, <laughs> guys. Uh, I'm actually the Terminator. You know, um, I, I'm I'm going back in time to save John Connor as soon as I end this Discord call. Oh, by the way, fun fact: um, I don't eat meat, but I'm not a vegetarian. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I stand <laughs> on my head for 16 hours a day on Tuesdays. What? No, I don't get it. <laughs> <laughs> that one fell flat. You got your best laugh. Uh, all right, keep playing. No, I, I just wanted to say real quick, Flaptina, provide receipts. All right, provide receipts. If you're going to claim you have two houses, send them to court. Yeah, if you're going to, no, no. If you're gonna if you're gonna claim these things, all right, where where prove it, all right? I haven't seen you, and maybe I'm wrong, and you can prove me wrong. I haven't seen you donate mm. donate subs to anybody. I haven't seen you donate money. Maybe you did it to Xyle. Maybe you're a member of Xyle's. Mm. But like I like like you're acting like you're a big baller and you're not flexing it at anywhere. I'm just saying. Yeah, I'm give us saying. money. <laughs> yeah, why don't you get, donate <laughs> donate like fifty subs? That'd be great too. I don't even want. I don't even want to see proof. Like you, Flaptina tried sending me proof, and it was really weird. She sent me. He sent me a picture of three people, one of them being the boss, and I'm like, "Oh, is that you in the middle?" And they were like, "No, this is a picture from their social media." And I'm like, oh. <laughs> "So I grabbed what? it from their Instagram profile, <laughs> and I said, uh -huh. this is proof." <laughs> yeah. So, and then I'm like, "Well, you understand why I'm hesitant to believe you." And they're like, "Well, you never show me your face, so why would?" And I'm like, "Okay, whatever. Like, <laughs> like I'm not like I'm not even asking you for proof. You sent me this. I don't want proof. I'm simply saying I'm skeptical. Like, you got to get over that. I'm, oh well, I'm gonna be skeptical. Big fucking deal. The more defensive you get, the more skeptical I get. Like, so if you want to fucking prove yourself, prove it to core." I like yeah. I like how by the way they bring this up during a conversation about like a like a sex yes. uh, sexual yes. allegation. Yeah, they, they they're they're so focused on us. They don't they they're, they're trying to tie a sexual allegation. A, yes, even a consenting <laughs> sexual allegation. Yes, by the way. he like keeps shoehorning into us in. the story. <laughs> he shoehorns us in every time. Like a Asher's telling her story, and he's like, "Well, you know, Matt Pitt. Uh, I wouldn't trust him. You know, um, you know now, you know, I don't trust a lot of these men. They're very mean to women. Like <laughs> he just keeps shoehorning us. Like I get it. You got issues with it." <laughs> All right, and here's whatever. the proof of uh, why you shouldn't trust them from a image I pulled from Google Images. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I never claimed I claimed to be a millionaire, which is different than having millions of dollars. Well, that's what gets annoying with this shit is people will treat it like a story, quote unquote, and then they'll be like, "Oh, I need to get all the details so they can 
go be clout goblins and say, oh, I got this exclusive tea on this, or like I got info that no one else got, so you have to give me all the you know, social media engagement or whatever, and that's sort of the unfortunate byproduct of doing shit on the internet for people to yeah, and this... to be celebrities or something. I don't like that word, but you know what I mean. That's it. Shut All up, right. Uh, sorry for the Discord notification, guys. Uh, whoever Shut was recording that was like really popular. But yeah, yeah. that was the uh, that was recording. Uh, Sen played this on stream. He was very interested on what my take would be uh, because uh, Sen was very surprised by this because he was listening to it, listening to the recording and thinking he's going to hear stuff on Salvo. And here's Floptina just being like, don't trust my pit. <laughs> Sen's like, what? What? What's uh, going on? Another uh, relationship broken apart in this episode. It's so sad. No, I, I'm still kind of confused on what we did wrong, right? It's you, like, Matt. I get it. You're speechless. It's a really hard like thing to talk about you and your like. You have that southern education. Your you like know? thing friend, you know. I don't know <laughs> if it's boyfriend or girlfriend, but you know it's fine. Um, and you guys gotta like part ways. It's fine. I get Fla- it. Flopina, if you're telling the truth, right? Can't you even understand for a moment why we wouldn't believe you? Like, can you understand like why we'd be hesitant? Why we would be skeptical in a situation like? given that like i I don't get that's the that's the thing i don't understand right why can't you understand that we're skeptical why do you think we're lying about why do you you have to trust me and believe everything i say always yeah like i i I let it i let it go like i was just kind of like i let it go for a while and i was just like yeah okay yeah all right cool but when it came up with the salvo stuff and the, the screenshots were leaked to me and i was going over it and i was like yeah well you know, I don't, I don't really believe about the whole big boss thing that Flaptina has. Like, I don't know. I just think, you know, it's a possibility that you're, you're not telling, you're not being truthful. But you know, I could be wrong, and I'll gladly admit when I'm wrong. But uh, yeah, that's. Uh, you really know what, Matt? I'm, I'm gonna admit it. I'm a billionaire. All right, my dad no is. Does that mean you paid. have billions of dollars? I, no, yeah. that's not what no. it means. No. <laughs> you, you moron! What what the fuck's wrong with you? My dad created Pokemon. No way. Yeah, prove me wrong. Wait, Matt, exactly. but, but wait, but wait! You have to show me your face first, and uh, then I can. <laughs> also, also, I'm dating Pokemane. No, you can have fun with that one. Yeah, I'm dating Pokemane and Shoe on Head at the same time. You're so cool. And I, I walk on you. my hands. Oh my god! And I can fly. Oh my god! I feel like Floptina. I love you, man. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, sit, are you gonna sit on Matt's face? <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, Floptina, Floptina, Floptina. Just uh, you know, come on, come on now, recording, and we'll talk to you. And uh, now what's the a, fight? Yeah, well, not. Even, I don't even want to fight. It's just like we can have a conversation. We can talk about it. The like, winner gets to be a millionaire. Because <laughs> I mean, you had fun. You know, you had fun with like the Jalen stuff and all that, and the Parking Tiger server. Like all of a sudden, what we're the big bad guys because we don't believe something you said. Uh, we're bad faith. Uh, we're evil. Uh. Yeah. And you and sh- this person said this publicly in a public Discord channel, right? This yeah. isn't like this isn't like information that was like, oh, don't tell anyone, guys. Uh, you know, this is a private one-on-one call. I, I, yeah, I called no, you on no. Discord. Also, they were pretty vocal in Van Luke's stream uh, on the in the chat about me or mm-hmm. us about now recording so yeah which is why i asked you on stream do we hate because they said in van luce chat uh that we hate her him we hate floptina and I, that's why i asked everyone do you guys hate floptina i don't hate floptina i'll ask it again toxic do you hate floptina no just annoying mitch do you hate floptina i didn't know who they were before yesterday <laughs> <laughs> Cora, it's do you impossible hate to hate someone that quick I'm annoyed at them, and I think they're a liar, but I don't hate them. I do not hate you, Flop Tina, and I got no issues with you. I just thought the recording was funny, and if you're lying, like I don't care. If you're telling the truth, cool. Uh, invest in Bitcoin. Invest in uh, invest in <laughs> invest in Zook. What is it? Zoo. Crypto Zoo. Go yeah. there. <laughs> no Dink Doink. Yeah, dink invest doink. in Dink Doink. Yeah, to invest the moon, in Flop Tina. Yeah, we're trying to make you rich. Okay, put that million in there, and I'm sure it'll come out just fine. Yeah, I think uh, now great. recording is not liable for any investments yeah, we are not, you're making. <laughs> we're not financial advisors. Uh, 
<laughs> our now our, this episode has been going kind of long, but I do want to talk about one more thing um, that happened on Mitch's. Is it our though. sponsor? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Crypto Zoo. Crypto Toxic, Zoo. Have and- you heard? Toxic. Wait. Yeah. Have you heard what happened on Mitch's stream last night? No, I fell asleep. Okay. Uh, so Mitch did a 12 hour stream where they were all Jeez. hanging out and stuff, and they started playing Among Us. And there was Ozzy and a bunch of people, and Ghosty. Ghosty was on there, Toxic. Uh, Mitch, you're platforming yeah. a doctor. What's wrong with you? Yo, I didn't <laughs> know this at the time. And if I did, I forgot. Uh, you don't watch the recording? <laughs> so, no, I don't. <laughs> drink. So, Ghosty was showing off his uh, bottle of liquor, right? His oh, whiskey. Whiskey. Wait, whiskey. I called it rum, and he's like, no, it's whiskey. I'm like, well, that makes it better. And the moment Matt... you said show off, I was waiting for <laughs> you to say his penis. <laughs> no, he was offering. He was offering to show his penis consensually, and we denied. He's like a vampire. Like he'll only show it if you give permission, and which we did not. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's good for him. But yeah, remember last time he got really drunk, toxic. The drama yeah, started. Yeah, yeah, I remember that. Well, this one wasn't uh, compared. Uh, it depends on how you're looking at it. But this one uh, is either not as bad or worse. Uh, so ghosty was insanely drunk uh i guess he drank most of the liquor uh, the whiskey mitch i don't i don't know he He drank the whole bottle he had the whole bottle he said i'm pouring myself a shot and then he turned the camera on it was not a shot glass it was a full cup yeah (laughs) like he was Uh, drinking a full cup of whiskey at a time this guy was obviously trying to impress you guys or something and it backfired really badly because next thing you know he's like like mumbling about this stuff and he starts talking about his girlfriend and he's like, uh, uh, my girlfriend, I'm not going to be able to see her. Like, and he starts yeah. like, just sobbing, bro. He starts sobbing and crying. And I was not in the stream at that time. Uh, and I, I went back and watched it. And I was like, holy shit. Why, Ghosty? Why do you do this to yourself, dude? Why are you Why are you getting this drunk? I take that yeah. back, Ghosty. It Ghosty, was listen. a very awkward uh, position because it's like you can't kick him out because then you're heartless, but Pretty you can't fair. let him keep going on because that's also heartless. So it's like, what the fuck do you do? Go see, listen to me very carefully. All right. Uh, I don't like you, but I will give you advice. Start a YouTube <laughs> channel. Start streaming. Bad do idea. $5 shots. Bad idea. Stop uh, trying to make this alcoholic even you more. <laughs> make money, Ghosty. Look, oh. I'm trying to help Flaptina with her his investments, and I'm trying to help Ghosty with... The potential of his YouTube channel. Ghosty, Ghosty will not make it to thirty if he does that. Ghosty, you're gonna be yes, fine. Well, right? look at Blade. Yeah, he, Blade's actually, thirty-seven. He's Blade is a miracle. So, okay. Yeah. And then what happened? What happened afterwards? After we we told him to go drink like all the water in his house, and so he's like, "All right," and then he left. He then two minutes later starts begging to come back in the stream, and so I eventually let him back in. I'm like, Ghosty, did you have more water? And he's like, "No." <laughs> and then. <laughs> Then he slumps over. His webcam's on, and then he slumps wait, over. Wait, wait, like, wait, wait. Oh, the whole time he's in this weird, like, he can't say any words, right? And I've joined yeah. at this point. Yeah. He can't say any words. <laughs> he's he's, the, only, the only thing he can say is Matt Pitt. Yeah, Matt Pitt. he's got Matt Pitt. Matt, Matt Pitt. Pitt. <laughs> I'm just like, what? <laughs> I'm like, Matt Pitt. Matt Pitt. And, Matt Pitt. and, and, that, and that, that was his body shutting down. Like, like Matt Pitt. And that was the last thing he said. He would literally be like, oh, uh, 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 Matt Pitt. <laughs> he just, <laughs> and but, then, uh, to test whether he was actually blacked out or pretending, I said, Ghosty, if you lift your head up in the next two seconds, I give consent for you to send me your dick. And it's a picture. And he did not get up. And I was like, well, there you have it. He, yeah. He's actually blacked out. <laughs> At one point, he got up. He, 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 he lifted his head up. And there was just like fucking like weird spit like coming out of his mouth. Ew. Bro, Did you roll? Yeah. Yeah. It was bad. Like this guy, this guy needs help. Um, Clearly. He needs, he needs help, bro. He needs help, but he should make a YouTube channel where he takes those $5 shots. No, I, I totally agree with that. And he should meet up with only use me blade. <laughs> yeah no yeah. he can make dude he can make the money and then he can get the help that's what you do right well Look, according to a, a docs i saw on twitter um <laughs> what never mind what? i was gonna make i was gonna make bad a bad joke. joke i was gonna make a bad joke but you know what i'm just gonna let it go <laughs> okay all right cool all right the map um, screenshot map and then yeah. about six hours after slumping he tweeted so dot 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 i blacked out after mitch's among his stream and i went to the hospital i am okay 
Good, good for um, you, Dusty. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, if he had have died, would that have been my responsibility as the streamer? No, I don't think so. No, I don't cool. think so. Yeah, you know where he lives. Are you going to be a doxer he's, now? Yeah, he's retarded. He's no, retarded. Dude. Like who? What? <laughs> what? What smart person drinks a whole bottle of whiskey on stream for no? Like, an hour. like for it was. No, it was less than an hour. Yeah, for no reason. No. No monetary <laughs> battle value whatsoever. God damn. <laughs> Toxic's <laughs> gone again. What is this? The third time. Yes, we're almost. I done. vote we fire him. We'll just and start wrapping it up, dude. Well, I got. I got one last thing I wanted to show Toxic. I am being silent, and I will not stand for it. All right, so this is the last thing I wanted to show you about the ghosty thing. Listen, okay? You ready? Yes. I'm going to be honest. I, I would make out with just a pistol pussy. What? Why not? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I support that. And that was the story of Drunk Ghosty. Um, At least he sounded happy in that. Yeah. Didn't he like a uh, little smile on his look, face? I think Ghosty had a good time. What do you think, Mitch? Uh, up until that point, yeah, he had a great time. <laughs> I wouldn't want did to you, be his toilet bowl later on. Did you think oh. it was like it was starting to go south, or did it just happen uh, immediately? Like, was there a slow burn, or was it just like boom? He's it, it was when he started sobbing, and his he, he, uh, face went into his hands. That I was like, oh no, this is yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, well, wait, I, like I have a I have a great resolution. You know how uh, Flopteta wanted to you to or whatever sit on faces, right? Uh, Ghosty can have Flop Tina now. She's not a woman, okay? Yeah. Uh, last no, well, thing. that doesn't matter for Ghosty. Ghosty like Clancy. Clancy's a dude. Uh, last, last thing, uh, 8030's Discord server was raided because 8030 gave admin to a random troll. Uh, th- so smart. I found out exactly what it was. So th- one of the admins was trying to add a, bo- a music bot to the server and be cut <laughs> And they didn't check if it was like a verified music bot. Um, there's like websites where you can do that. And uh, ended up inviting a raid bot uh, that was disguised <laughs> as a music bot. Holy shit, really? Uh, yeah. Oh, wow. So they raided yeah. themselves. Yep. Damn. And it, so it was, there was there was swastikas and all um, sorts of stuff in there. That's not Holy fun. shit. Did they, uh, did they fix it or is it gone? It, no, it's nuked. It, it had to be nuked. So it's, it's done. It, Goodbye, yeah. server. They they literally so they changed all the text channels. So it was everyone had locked out permissions, uh, and they they changed the text names to "You've been raided by so and so," and then they just kept posting stuff and it wouldn't stop. So I think you can't, someone you can't said, kick the bot and it just goes away. Um, uh, well, the by the time you do that, the messages are already still there, and it's over five thousand messages. Oh my second. god! Yeah, new per second. Uh, I don't know. It was a short period uh, of time. Jesus. Yeah. So imagine trying to delete all of that. Yeah. Like. Yeah. yeah. No. I'm glad I left that server. <laughs> yeah. They should uh do like a little highlight with all the great moments of that server to like in the arms of the angel in the arms of an angel and then you show the screenshot of AD30 putting the server link uh in the in the Jalen Scrimzox group chat where like Jalen was trying to see if Scrimzox committed suicide or not. Did you hear what? about that, Mitch? No. Uh, so this guy named Scr- girl, trans girl, <sighs> named Scrinzox, uh, basically posted a suicide tweet, uh, like eating a bunch of pills. And so they, Jalen and a, another trans person and a bunch of people, including Nicholas Diorio, created this group chat to try and like get in touch and try to save his life, ba- her life, basically. And uh, while that's happening, 8030 somehow got a hold of the group chat and he likes to just randomly send you links to his server. So he just put the fucking link to his <laughs> server in the group chat. And everyone was like, 8030, now's not the time, buddy. And Respect like, oh, the hustle. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, so, are you telling me <laughs> Scrimzox is trans? Yes. How are many you... trans people we got in this community? A lot. What the f- Why a is lot. everyone going trans? What the fuck? I was going to make a really bad joke, but I'm going to say It's that like a Christian fucking world now. <laughs> it's like, uh, like autism and trans are like one and the same at this point. Like, they, are you saying they go hand whole... in hand? All trans people are autistic. I'm saying like a majority of trans people on the internet are autistic. Do you I think make it's that because they're autistic that they decide to become trans? I think it has something to do with just wanting to fit in and they find this very niche thing and they think they they feel out of their element, right? They feel different. And so they associate that with gender dysphoria and it just turns into like something else. 
I'm totally if, fucking armchair thing, armchair like <laughs> there, by the way. So if you want to burn you me think, for this trans people, go ahead. But I'm just thinking there's some weird connection there. Matt, you're into some kinky stuff. You're weird. You want to be like burn. Do you think Bo Blacks would make a cute girl? No. No. Bo Blacks yeah. looks like a serial killer. You've never seen the the AI image or what it, what is it the gender swap image the the yeah face up but thing? those never count though those are like those are like bro uh, you should have seen what Bobax was like <laughs> the, those are like the best version female version of them there Bobax was I don't think I think Bobax is fine just the way he is would he pl- would he still play or would she play Sonic yes my dick's too small where did that come from I don't know what is that what is that sound bite from I have no idea. Because he sounds so Vault. happy in it. Vault knows where, where it's from. I think he's probably reading a tweet longer or something. Or a tweet. Why does he sound so happy, though? Because he's reading it like it's a funny tweet. So he's reading it very like in a jovial, jovial, jovial tone. Uh, yeah. So. Huh. Uh, all right. 8030, if you're listening, I hope the next server works out. Stop giving admins to people. Don't add random bots. All that Don't good stuff. Don't invite me. Yeah. Yeah, don't invite us, and uh, make sure your mods are people you trust. Uh, also, stop like stop having spaces where you just like have a bunch of people in them. Like, I heard you talk in a voice chat recently, and you sounded confident, and yeah. you were talking, and you were talking a lot, and you were making jokes. All right, I stop. It was on our live stream. No, well, I, it was like in a, in a random voice chat where I heard it, but I'm just saying, like, like go be that eighty thirty. Stop like going quiet and then like not saying anything. Be a host. All right. Now it's time. Now be it's time to be a host. A hoe. Yes. Yeah. A hoe. Uh, anyways, uh, thank you for watching now recording, guys. I'm You're Matt welcome. Pitt. That's Toxic Piplup. That's Mickey Mitch. That's Core Master. I hope you enjoyed it. We tried to find us some topics that we could talk about. Uh, there's stuff brewing, I guess, in the Salvo mm-hmm. circle. We're kind of waiting for the other shoe to drop in that situation and see Salvo's side. So we're not really going to talk about it. Waffles that much. are better. Uh, but yeah uh, make sure to like comment and subscribe uh, shout out to our premium tards brick undead proxy slum and ghosty uh, <laughs> make sure to sober up buddy uh, don't forget and- to turn on that notification bell yeah and on top yeah. of that put all notifications on not 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 just yeah. uh not just uh what is it alerts i don't know what yeah. it's don't forget to all share okay matt didn't say share tell your friends your dog like everybody okay your uh, mom your dad yeah. ghosty's ex-girlfriend you know yeah uh, Abby, I, I, just Abby give, I just want to give yeah. a very quick shout out to another podcast the broadcast yes. uh, which is a woman podcast where in their latest episode they are talking about dishwashers as they but should that's that's not a joke are they, they wearing literally shit? are talking about dishwashers they should do uh face cams and wear mate wear made outfits next time you know and <laughs> dust and while they're doing it start dusting you know who does Mitch? that female podcast? No, no, they should each do one thing. One of them should do the dusting. One of them should do the cooking. Yeah. And another one should... It's like I washing know, a do... dish. Like like washing <laughs> the same dish, you know? Yeah. <laughs> is, it, is that a podcast in our communities? or? What? It's yeah. very respectable for Mitch to shout out his girlfriend's podcast, yes. Oh, for fuck's sake. Yeah, <laughs> yeah oh, Mitch. Oh, it's his girlfriend? No. No. <laughs> what? So of course. You know what? Core, you have a real good is. way of derailing shit. You know that, or was that toxic? <laughs> I can't tell. It was core, wasn't it? Yeah. Can, anyway, you, t- can you tell me what what podcast it is? Finally, don't leave me hanging here. Come on. It's called Broadcast. Yeah, but who's hosting it? Xyli, Eva, and I don't know. Oh, who the first one is. now <laughs> I understand. I got it. I got Mystic. it. Mystic. Yeah. Mystic. Yeah, that one. All right. By the wait, way, by the wait. way, Mystic's hot according to Matt standards. Just so you know, she's very attractive. <laughs> uh, prove it. Also, shout out to Mitch's podcast, okay? Wow, Matt. We're going to talk about the ghosty thing, which happened on his podcast. I'm shouting shout it out. out. I'm shouting it out funny. again. Go subscribe. Yeah. It's in the description. Yeah. Oh, by the way, keep your, keep your oh, eyes peered for, peered. you know, some pe- peeled. Are you Asian? Peered. <laughs> peeled. Pop. For uh, <laughs> possible streams in the near future. Also, Beavers will be returning on the 10th of January. He's what prolonged like his second, vacation. Bro. He's prolonged it. He's Wait, it's the 10th now? I'll be yeah. back by then. Let's go. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. Cool. Thank you, guys. Bye, cuties. Bye. I, I would make out with just your pistol, pussy.